Hi, this is Jim Witter, Program Coordinator at the Wood County Parks, here for another episode of Backyard Naturalist. And where most folks would see a decaying fence probably in need of repair, uh, the Backyard Naturalist sees like it. Uh, so you can see on this fence, we have a couple different kinds of lichen. If we zoom in, you can see right here we have one. Uh, this one's called a uh, folios lichen. Looks kind of like foliage uh, on a tree. The trees and shrubs start to leaf out. We also have crustose lichen that looks, well, uh, sort of crusty. Uh, it's all this other uh, kind of close growing uh, lichen on here. And we have a, a third general kind called fruticose that we have growing around here and really lichen is a pretty neat uh, sort of creature it's a combination of a fungus and an algae usually uh, cyanobacteria blue green algae that together would not comprise the same type of thing but when they grow together and kind of work together you have your uh, photo Biont, which is the, the algae that has the photosynthetic part, and the mycobiont, which is the fungus. And they can also survive uh, pretty extreme conditions, uh, even when it gets really dry. You'll often notice after a rain, if you look at lichen often growing on a tree, more commonly than your fence, that it will get very green when it's exposed to that moisture. And I'm going to give a shout out to uh, a couple of our experts on uh, lichen, uh, Janet Traub and Jim Toppin. We had them coming for a program. Fortunately, uh, it was canceled earlier this month, in fact, last weekend. So we're going to try to have them back in October. But stay tuned for that. Look for lichen uh, growing kind of anywhere that isn't really moving around getting much attention. Uh, it could be you if you don't get enough exercise get out into your parks but rocks have some growing in our chairs over here on the deck uh, on the fence and there are a couple different uh, types of creatures that will consume lichen uh, among them deer mice sometimes squirrels and even have a picture of one from the backyard and right here getting uh, very uh, I guess meta we have phone recording and you can Zoom in on that. This is a painted lichen moth that you can see right the fuzz there. It's on the back door. And the caterpillar of the painted lichen moth consumes, of course, lichen, amongst other things. So look for the painted lichen moth and lichen around your backyard. We'll see you next week.